viewers and subscribers welcome welcome back to another video now it's a boy sae big up on yourself and thank you all for tuning in to this one so um big up every west indies fans that supported the uh, match last night between us and um, usa and um you know it was a wonderful nine wicket win by us and um this is just a starting point people you know to be frank it is just a starting point because even though we are second and the pine stable um we still need to beat south africa tomorrow you know but before we go any further though you know we're gonna zoom in on two topics first we're gonna zoom in on brandon king update then we're gonna zoom in on the west indies um vice versa but before we do so please go ahead and hit that subscribe button turn on the post notification bell to be the first alerted whenever a new video is uploaded and don't forget we're on our way to twenty thousand subscribers you understand so um welcome welcome back so people um we saw the match last night you know i didn't really do any watch along but i watched the match you know i watched every west indies match in this t20 world cup but you know um i didn't really go live that often anymore because you know i've been kind of like a bit cautious with the channel you know just waiting until july 10 then i can start up back you understand but i'll try my best you know do one and two there but i don't want to want to violate you know but um it was a good good match you know um the bowling of Rastan Chase basically turned the game on its head and um I'm pleased to see you know um Rastan Chase into the fold and I'm also pleased to see Shea Hope into the fold you know because Shea Hope has been performing well in T20 cricket all around for the West Indies it's just the fact that he never really get the opportunity to be in the team based on the team um combination 11 but no it seems as if he's here and he's here to stay um the other changes i need them to make i need them to drop johnson charles for the next match um but that's unlikely and bring in a kyle Myers because he replaced brandon king but um that's my potential would say start 11 there's two changes to my team you know um not about two one change is that they got johnson charles and bring in um kyle Myers because johnson charles is stuck up too much that ball people his man is not uh he's not in good touch anymore you understand and um look at hope second match but you know open your batting so much 82 you understand that though it performed better than the boat openers so you understand sir so, understand that sometimes it's a blessing in disguise nothing not saying that it was meant for brandon king to get an injury but it's a blessing you understand um hope come and demonstrate that he belong in the team and um he can propel the west indies team to um a, a bigger uh should i say more dominant performance in the power player further on because as we know you can bat in the power play you can bat in the middle is good against pace is good against spin you know he's good against all of it so it's a complete player you know i watched him last night and was like yes this man is really a complete cricketer we already know that long by while back you know but we never really show him any any we never really look at him as a t20 player from a while back as a plate he performed well in cpl and then he grabbed the spotlight go to ipl and now he's back in the west indies fall and i'm happy to see that hey he's performing well but you know what um this is just the beginning guys for the west indies because every other matches come after this is a do or die for them you understand they need to beat south africa they need to beat Inga, either england or australia then they need to beat either one of them for the final you understand that's the prediction um that the west indies will win this year's t20 world cup but in, in order for that to happen we need to win uh, sorry about that guys you know what? um current ship out on him but in order for that to happen guys we need to win the remaining matches so um i'm here you know um zoom in and west indies um website where you're saying that brandon king injury you know and calmeras coming back calmeras um replaced me i understand um even though you know uh it was expected because his train is grind guys so it was on logic that they're gonna um opted for somebody else instead of a film because they don't want to really risk the injury you know calmeras has been approved as replacement for brandon king you understand um in this year's t20 world cup you you know it's a heavy blow for him but um you know you have to take it one step at a time you understand people and really um just believe in himself that he will get over this injury pretty soon and, 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 and be back in the West Indies fall. But um that's just a little news on it, you know. Um I was going to do a little, little video where Shea Hope was speaking after the match last night where he was like, 
you know, um, this win wasn't just a win. This was a, was a, was a, was a, a demonstration of what the team need going forward winning mentality you know um he was really confident with the performance that he did you know and i'm happy to see that he performed another fact um i'm going to really zoom in on it matter of fact you know what through the internet you poor guys so i didn't get the time to, but but no uh all right so the good news coming out of west indies cricket like up alive now people and subscribe for you uh, today's any career birthday but uh where is it where is it where is it where is it all right uh, you know guys i'm searching for it you know um i just saw it but just because the internet report and if i get the chance to really uh skip it but you know we already know the details already so i'm not going to really waste my time looking for it Kyle may has replaced brandon king in the team argument done right there yeah and i understand so let's dive into um what she hope had to say last night after the match i understand he was really you know let really me give you a question but let's get the, the full details of what he had to say because he performed exceptionally well you know i thought that he should have got the man of the match but i, have to, I can't overlook um um rust and chase either so you understand that he's going to get a look into so we know what's at stake. Shea Hope wants West Indies to continue with the same vein before South Africa match. As you know, the West Indies will be playing South Africa on Sunday, guys. And all West Indies supporters are expected to turn out in Antigua over there to really support the team and see if they can help the West Indies, you know, secure a semi-final berth. You know, he said, I would say very clinical, especially coming off the loss that... Uh, we had a couple of days ago. It's great to see the guys understood um, the assignment today um, and play the cricket that we want to play. It's important for us to continue in this vein because we see what's at stake now. But yeah, I'm very happy with the bongs back then, back that we did today and there is a lot of more cricket to play and we are looking forward to it, Hope told the media in the post-press conference. You know, the opener also affirmed that uh, the West Indies team is looking forward to the clash against South Africa. He said not entirely um, the main aim today. Coming out in the meeting as well was just to get the win and ensure we play our cricket and in and the important thing is to focus on our skills, not necessarily get too far ahead of ourselves because we understood the importance of winning um, the game first and foremost because if we didn't win the game, then we know what's going to happen. So winning um, the game and also winning the game as long as... No, he said winning the game First and foremost, because we didn't want the game. You know what, people? So winning the game, and as long as we tick our boxes, then I think the rest will take care of itself. And I guess that's what happened. Hope oh, added. So, you know, that was a little interview he did, people. You know, he was really um, pleased with his performance. And they should be. That is high scoring T20 cricket. But... No people sorry about the chipping and chipo guys you know current chipo and i you know but you understand but like up the video guys subscribe for new little more